welcome to Craft Shoe Print TV. My name's Liz Harrison and I'm a designer for Craft Shoe Print. Thanks for joining me. Okay, today what I'd like to do is make a card for our anniversary, Valentine, wedding, or just to say I love you, or even for a birthday card, it can be adapted. But these are some of my chair cards that I did earlier last year and they were very popular so I thought I'd just adapt it um, add some different animals, different colour card and some different embellishments to go with it. I have got um, an insert sheet as well that goes with it. Now I've printed both of these out on the Crafty Bob uh, computer paper because it comes out so lovely and smooth, doesn't crack and you tend to find it doesn't scratch and the colours come out really really well and the details fantastic. This is just printed out on a really box standard printer, it only cost me £40 and you can see the eyes and the detail on the meerkats, it's picked it all up and you can see all the fur and everything and even all the cord on the chairs, all the ridges stands out and that's because it's a good quality paper and it doesn't use too much ink. Okay. So I've cut out the little chair and folded it in half. I do recommend that you use your scoreboard and your Crafty Bob bone folder score it in half. Okay. And then I've also done the insert as well. Now I've left it blank so you can add your own message if you wish or it does match in with the other little messages on the sheet so you can pop one of those on if you want to do so. Okay, so we'll put the insert into the card. Now you can either stick it completely down or just stick it along the edge. What I tend to like to do with inserts is just put tape along the outside edge, the one that goes to the front of the card, so that when you open it up, the card opens. So line it up together there. Okay, fold your card over onto it. And then when you open it up, you get your message inside. If you put it on the other side, you tend to find it doesn't open quite so well. So as I say, I do tend to like to put my tape on that side of the insert. So when you open it, you open directly onto your message. Okay, then we're just going to decoupage this one up. Now, the meerkats are lovely. They have lovely little paws, which just absolutely cry out for having a little message or a little heart or a little bunch of flowers to um, add on to them. I am actually doing um, a blank version of the chair as well so if there are animals that you've got yourself or photographs or if there's any animal that you particularly want contact me through Craft Show Printer Forum and uh, I'll see what I can do for you and you can add any animal onto your chair and custom make your own little card. Obviously digital crafting you can print out as many times as you want it's just limitless as to what you actually do with them and I'm sure you'll come up with lots of ideas of your own as well. So I'm just going to layer up the little meerkats onto the card. Now again, if you're wanting to get a bit of curve without using silicon glue, um, if you've maybe seen my previous episodes, I actually use larger foam pads and just curve around onto the shape. So as you put the foam pad on, just curve it around and keep the shape curved slightly for yourself and then it does keep its shape and you do get just that little bit of extra depth and dimension to your decoupage. Okay, just pop those off and hover over the top. As you can see, well I hope you can see, there is actually quite a nice curve on that shape still even with the foam pad on, so it doesn't go completely flat onto your card. The other way of doing that is actually to use smaller foam pads on the edges and deeper foam pads, so like a, a, say a 1mm on the edge at that side and maybe a 2mm or a 3mm down the middle and it just again gives you that raised area. But as I say, I tend to find that I like using my foam pads and particularly for demonstrations because they are an awful lot quicker. Okay, so I just hold my fingers just slightly uh, raised in the centre there and it just, just gives that little bit of shape and it's something I discovered quite by accident uh, when I was in a rush making a card and I'd not got my foam pad on straight and then I realised it did actually keep the curved shape of the decoupage. So lay him on there, okay, and then again 
which has got the little paw parts. Now I'm going to leave the paws loose because I do want to put some little bits underneath the paws. So again, just curve that around. You don't need many on these. And it's a good quality, nice thickness, 200 GSM, the photo card. So you do tend to find that it does keep its shape and you don't need as much uh, foam pad on it and it doesn't flatten down quite so much. Okay, just get some more little foam pads there. Oops. Okay, just one on the head and one on the body. Okay. Alright, nearly done. Now again, it's entirely up to you with your decoupage how many layers you put on. I'm using all the layers that are available on the sheet, but you don't have to. Uh, I'll just use half of one on the head there, I think. You can just use one layer, just two layers, or you can save your full meerkat shape for a totally other card. You could buy the blank uh, chair card and actually make two from the one sheet there. Okay, so I'll just put his little face on there. And, oops, we've lost my other one, but never mind. So, what I'm going to do now, I've got the card stood up. Now we can put a little Happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to add that onto the bottom again. I think I'll use a foam pad to attach that one. And just one in the centre there. Okay. And just pop, oops, helps if you put it the right way. Okay. That there. Now what I thought would be quite sweet if they've both got a little heart. So I'm just going to pop a little heart with half a foam square underneath each of the paws and it looks as though they're bringing you a heart each there. Again you could put little flowers, you can use all sorts of things with these but I think the hearts are quite cute. Okay, just pop that one underneath. Those paws and the hearts are just literally the right size for the paws to hold. Okay, and one under there. And there you have it, a nice little meerkat happy Valentine's Day card. And you've got your insert in the middle there, so you can add whatever message you like. You could actually, if you just wanted to use this um, on the front of, say, an A4 card, I'll just see if you can say an A4 card like that what you could do is put ribbon on the sides there and have it as like a secret message card so that they can open it up and see the message inside or you could use it uh, on part of an easel card so they're a bit small card these but you can make them into a bigger design if you wish okay hope you've enjoyed this thanks for joining me see you again next time